Wild Flipper here. Dave, the Wild Flipper. Um, with Wild Hail Sales, it's great to have you. I'm flustered and kind of going out of my head here because we went sourcing today and we got a bunch of stuff. So much stuff. And you're going to have to tell me, what do you think of some of the stuff we got? Hit us in the comments. Let us know. But such an awesome amount of stuff. We went to an estate auction where we picked up some really cool things. And then we stopped at an antique mall and a Goodwill that we hadn't been to before. So much good stuff. So let's dive right into it in no particular order because that's just <laughs> so much stuff. Um, first of all, the Goodwill we went to had some great hats. Since they're right on top here, I may as well do that. We've got the Flash here. We've got two Titleist hats that are in just great shape. We don't know who that team is, but we're going to find out. That's uh, apparently a baseball or softball team. And we found this in also really great shape. No one's going to want that in our state, but I'm sure somebody out there is going to want this. <laughs> So, the Vikings are the anti-Packers. Let's yeah, just put it that, that way. <laughs> that just doesn't work at all. We got this in-box three-piece fondue grilling set. Um, it has a grilling grid, the fondue pot, and a hardwood base. All in-box. Uh, quality established in 2008. So we're pretty close to being a vintage piece. But in-box is usually pretty promising. So we went ahead and grabbed that. Didn't put a whole lot into it. We got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. I'll be double checking it to make sure all the pieces in there, but it really feels like they are. It seems like it's a really good find. And I tell you, I've got one piece that's going to be the star of the show. Really cool, so stick with us. I've got an Acacia Collection. Um... It's a Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan, yeah. I need to clean it off a little bit, but it looks like it's in really, really good shape. Maybe a little bit of a blemish right there. A little scratch over there, but really fantastic shape. Really looks good. I'm going to set it over here. Don't out look of, in our kitchen, guys. <laughs> out of the way. We've got Monopoly Lord of the Rings. Ooh. I've got to reorganize inside of it because it's kind of tossed around, but it looks like it's got everything. And even if it doesn't, and you've got one that's missing a few pieces, perfect. A little bit of damage on the box, but otherwise, all especially the pieces themselves, the figures, are all in there. So that looks really good, too. Now, you guys know me and my salt and pepper shakers, if you've been watching this at all. He's addicted to salt and pepper shakers, y'all. Yeah? I, I like them. And I've found some really interesting salt and pepper shakers. These are plastic. Mm -hmm. um, they do have a stamp on them. Jasco, 1981. So Ooh. they've got a name that I can look up. And I will definitely do that. We've got a bag here, and I'm not going to, we'll just aim down at it. Okay. Because I need to open this up and, and get into it. Some of those pieces are a little bit worn, but these look just like some really nice ones to add. We've got a little Amish Couple. boy and girl there. Look how cute. And they're kind of heavy, mm -hmm. which is interesting. But, you know, little, we got those from the antique mall. Um, and we got that bag here from the antique mall. Mm -hmm. These we found at uh, a Goodwill. They are Ron Jordan designs. And just really interesting. I think these are promising. But the ones that I'm really kind of happy about that are just definitely very different. And I'm going to have to remove those stickers and clean those off. But we've got little Puss in Boots salt and pepper shakers. Oh, they're so that. cute. Isn't that amazing? They really are. Uh, those are really neat. And I'm going to have to clean those stickers off. Those stickers are on pretty hard, but we'll get those off. We've got great ways to remove them stickers. We found some records. 
And, you know, I don't normally do records, but, you know, sometimes some of them are pretty good. Like, here's Chariots of Fire. And I'm going to move these over here, so I'm going to put these records aside. We've got a sealed Elvis Christmas. Now, that's got a little bit of some of that plastic right. missing right but there. It's but it's still, still sealed. sealed. It's, it's never been used. We've got the soundtrack for Easy Rider. I think this is a fairly rare album, so that looks really good. And a Dolly Parton album that looks really nice, Jolene. So, again, really cool stuff. Also at the Antique Mall, we got these very risque, naughty postcards. <laughs> Look at that. You can't get away with making a postcard like that anymore. No, you can't. Um, let me just... We'll show another one but we got quite a few of these we got well 11 of them mm -hmm. did we get mm -hmm. so be on the lookout and some of them are used but that's not the point these are just really cool from the antique mall postcards again uh from goodwill another cool set in box of salt and pepper shakers also looks very promising um we got some Vintage Child's Dominoes. Mm -hmm. They have animals. We got some flashcards, also quite vintage. So that's going to go really interesting. We got this nice big John Deere tractor. And along with that, I'm just going to have her go ahead and aim down here. We got this little group of resin dogs. Just little, little dogs right there. They're so cute. There's a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, we went through them a minute ago. Los Ops, a Basset Hound, a There's Westie, a Bulldog, a, bulldog, uh -huh. a Scotty, um, a Mutt, <laughs> it looks like, but or a Shizu, one or the other. But yeah, lots of little, little resin doggies, and they're so adorable. That Bulldog right there. Is that not the cutest face? And just, and I think we need to look up this, too. There's a tag in it. Is there a tag in it? There is a tag in it. Okay, I'll look that up. That looks like it says made in the USA, but... Uh, yeah, I love this little thing. It's a drawstring, like... Yeah, that's really... We should look that up, too. I will. Um, we also got some HD DVDs, and some of them are even sealed, but we've got We Were Soldiers, Terminator... We've got, what, three copies of this that were there yeah. sealed? And they're, they're sealed. It even says security device enclosed, which means mm -hmm. that's never been used. Um, we got the Avengers Age of Ultron. We got Troy. We've got a concert, U2, mm -hmm. Rattle and Hum. Tomb Raider. Sky Captain of the World of Tomorrow. Just a really, really great set of those. Nice set of movies. And we got some nice appliances. We're just going to kind of aim in here and show you what we got. We got a coffee grinder and a blender and a coffee uh, filter, cold filter, I think. Mm -hmm. Which is also really awesome. Just great stuff. Now, some of Lisa's favorites. We also got some really cool jewelry. Let's open that up. And we have this. Now, first of all, we have Aaliyah Sophia in here. Mm -hmm. New. New with tags. And, you know, we're going to be... We haven't looked all this stuff up yet. I think it's... i got to pull that. There we go. There we go. Check, it out. Check that out. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. It really is. And then we found this little piece got to get that to... yeah, it's a double strand necklace but the fairy is just adorable uh, i've got her kind of tangled up let me try and... there, there we go there we go let's have a look at her isn't she beautiful yeah that's a really nice nice shiny piece and that brings us now to like the coolest thing we got and we've already done some research on it but there's a little more to do and that I'm go ahead and open up right here 
move this out of the way. I could have had it open before we started filming, but you know what? You can follow along for the surprise. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Number 28. P138. Audubon print of the common mockingbird. It's showing me in reflection. I'm sorry for everybody who's having to see me in reflection. But that's... On the back, now look at this, you can see how old this is. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this is more than likely antique. Uh, well, close to it, because Christmas 1940, right here. Mm -hmm. That lends to the idea of how old this piece is. And if you go to the Audubon website right now and try to order this print, today's print, is five hundred dollars. Think about that for a second. I think this is. You can tell me what you think, but I think this is our hottest find. We got this at the estate sale, the estate auction, and nobody else was bidding on it. Really, I think one other person tried. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted. The tractors. Yeah, there was lots of tractors. There was lots of tractors, so and they, they all wanted the tractors. This, and I don't think they knew what they had, but um, I am going to be deep diving into this. And one of the cool things about it is, can you see the snake? Mm-hmm. The snake wrapped up in there. So that is not a way you would see that anymore. You can get that print right now, you know, uh, current for $500 on the Audubon website. I don't know what that's going to go for, but it feels pretty good. So, what do you think of our finds? What do you think is going to turn out the best? Do you think we've got some stinkers? Let us know. We probably do. You, you, there's always a couple stinkers with things, and it's probably in the records is where I'm going to guess. But I think the records were probably a good gamble. So, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow us. Give us a big thumbs up. Share us, because that really helps out. Because we want more people just like you. Thank you for stopping in with us. And we will see you next time.